Dogs are born sniffers. Their sense of smell is at least 10,000 times better than ours. And yet, your pooch somehow manages to not get overpowered by the smell of another dog's butt. In fact, they seem to soak in the overwhelming aroma of another dog's poop with great gusto. But why? Buckle in, cause the dog butt science is more complex and interesting than you might think. Where do chemicals packed into a dog's behind come from? What perplexes many pet owners is why dogs sniff this particular part of the anatomy. Why rear ends? Why not ears or feet? Well, inside the rectum are two small sacs called anal glands that secrete a stinky substance. These glands empty naturally while a dog is pooping. You might not notice this because the smell is masked by the dog's poop, but dogs can definitely tell the difference. But it's not just the anal glands. There are also apocrine glands that produce pheromones based on dog's mood. And the little-known sebaceous glands. They secrete oils that help with waterproofing and scent marking. So it all comes down to this. When dogs sniff rear ends, they're finding out, is this dog friend or foe? A good date. Will he be aggressive? Did I get his paws on a tasty snack around here? Is he feeling under the weather? And because the odor is unique to every dog, two dogs can quickly figure out if they've met before. That aroma from the anal region is like a canine ID card. The way dogs sniff rear ends can establish which of the two dogs is dominant. The boss dog will usually initiate the sniffing while the submissive dog waits his turn. Some dogs are pretty strategic about this and only give out as much info as they want. They will sit down clamping their tails over their butt to reduce the odor they emit. It's like their way of putting up a do not disturb sign, playing hard to get in the doggy world. Now that we explored the dog butt science, let's figure out how does your dog's nose know so much? We all know that dogs can smell a treat or your chicken dinner from what seems like a mile away. You probably noticed your dog suddenly stopped to carefully inspect a section on the sidewalk that looks identical to all other parts of it. What do they see that we don't? If you've ever looked closely at your dog's nose, it has two nostrils, just like ours. But what's different is that a dog's nostrils curve off to the side. When we lean in for a sniff of something and then exhale, we'll push odors away from us. But dogs manage to exhale through the sides of their nostrils, which means they inhale the odor non-stop. Some of the air a dog inhales moves upwards to a dog's nose, where it enters a labyrinth of passages and hits the olfactory bulb. This is the brain's powerhouse for processing scents. So while you're marveling at a blooming flower, your dog is busy decoding the entire history of the neighborhood with just one sniff. And they don't get tired of sniffing too. So they update their sensory snapshots of the world around them all the time. And let's not forget their ability to smell time. Okay, they can't exactly sniff out the future, but they can detect the passage of time by smelling how scents change throughout the day. So, next time you see your dog's nose twitching, remember, they're picking up on a world of smells we can only imagine. By the way, dogs can wiggle their nostrils independently which helps them figure out which direction a scent is coming from. Humans can only wiggle both their nostrils simultaneously. Try it. We'll wait. But what's even cooler is that dogs can actually smell emotions. That's right. Research shows that dogs have an extra second scent receptor called a vomeronasal organ, who, whose one and only task is to detect pheromones. So, your dog can read your emotions through tiny amounts of perspiration or adrenaline. Fear or anxiety often comes with an increase in heart rate and blood flow, sending body chemicals to the skin surface. So trying to hide your true feelings might fool your friends, but not your dog. If you've had a rough day and your dog is extra cuddly, they're probably picking up on your vibes. Talk about a nose that knows. Your dog's breed can determine how powerful their nose is. While all dogs have millions of scent receptors buried deep within their noses, not all dogs are equal, and it doesn't always have to do with the size of the breed. For example, Dachshunds have about 125 million olfactory receptors, 
but bloodhounds have more than double that amount with around 300 million. That's why they are often called upon for tracking purposes. Breeds like German Shepherds, which are popular as service animals, fall somewhere in the middle with about 225 million. Just to put those numbers in perspective, humans have only about 5 million scent receptors in their noses. Dogs with squat noses, known as brachycephalic breeds, have a different story. Genetics and intentional breeding have given them those adorable squished faces, but it can also impede their ability to smell. This includes dog breeds like boxers, bulldogs, pugs, shih tzus, French bulldogs, and Boston terriers. This doesn't stop them from liking butt sniffing as much as any sharp-nosed beagle. But can you train your dog to not sniff other dogs' butts? What have you smelled today? Maybe a few odors, likely food or some kind of fragrance. Meanwhile, your dog has sniffed his way out of bed, checked your morning scent, explored the smells from the night before during your walk, and might have even sniffed out some fellow canines. We humans might think it's weird to sniff a stranger's groin, but we shouldn't stop our dogs from getting to know their furry friends this way. They can't ask each other's names or how they're doing, so they sniff to gather that info. It's their version of a handshake or a quick chat. When we stop them from interacting in this natural way, we force them to live by our rules. You often see dog owners tugging on the leash, eager to move on. Oh, but each time we do that, we take away a bit of their dogness. It's a shame because they're different from us, and we should embrace that difference. What a dog's nose doesn't know, that you do. Dogs can use their cold, wet, and cute noses for almost everything to tell identical twins apart, or even detect a day-old footprint left by a missing person. In her book, Inside of a Dog, canine cognition researcher Alexandra Horowitz writes that humans might taste a teaspoon of sugar added to a cup of coffee, but a dog could detect the same teaspoon of sugar in a million gallons of water, enough to fill two Olympic-sized pools. Impressive, right? However, John McGann, a neuroscientist at Rutgers University, thinks we humans don't give ourselves enough credit. In a recent article in Science, McGann argues that we've actually outperformed super sniffers, like dogs, at certain smelling tasks. Not that humans have a sense of smell as good as dogs in general, but there are certain scents we are more sensitive to. In 2013, researchers tested humans, mice, and spider monkeys on detecting urine odors from common mouse predators. While mice were best at detecting fair out of six distinct odors, humans were more sensitive to the other two. We're also just as good as dogs and rabbits at smelling the main odor in bananas, and better than mice at detecting at least one component of human blood. Sure, our dogs are deeply attuned to us and naturally curious, but must they really accompany us to every bathroom visit? Could there be a hidden, perhaps alarming reason? Let's look at this curious and slightly unnerving behavior from 10 different angles. 